control, take up the blindfold. Pick up a book, read about stories that aren't told. Living a Babylon, have you come figure your role? I'm a freedom fighter, can you hear it in my tone? Pick a laugh tonight. Hey, what? How? By slavery. How? Uh, the white man came and took us out of Africa. And put us on what? Now you heard him say ships, right? Let's see if that's in the Bible. Verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The word Egypt means bondage. It's a Greek word that means bondage. Read again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You will not see your identity no more again. And there, and there, once you got off the slave ship, are you listening? Once you get off those ships, what would happen? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall, look, you shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. For born men, slave men, and bond women and slave women and no man shall buy you when it says no man shall buy you means no man shall be able to save you from this condition marcus garvey was a great leader he couldn't save us martin luther king was a great leader he couldn't save us malcolm x was a great leader he could not save us the maroons could not save us they had nanny and what were some of those other names? And Gucci, Kujo. Kujo, thank you. They could not save us. There is one savior to save us from these conditions. Come, come, you. I want you to come, yes. Because I see that you read a lot or you're well read. The Bible says that the Israelites would have yokes of iron on the neck, right or wrong. The Bible says the Israelites would have yokes of iron upon their neck. The Bible says the Israelites would be sold to their enemies for bond men and bond women. Look, that's a family. Man, woman, and baby. So what is this proving? That it's proving our race. And it is also showing you that whenever the crisis starts, they will be killing everyone. So let me ask you a question. What, what we just read, that Moses is speaking to the Israelites, that this happened to us, what race is Moses speaking to? Huh? Black. There's no black. black. We just use it. Give me the biblical name. The Israelites. The Israelites. So who are we, brother? The Israelites. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. We are not Jamaican. I'm going to say it again. We are not Jamaicans. We are not Afro-Americans. We are not Haitians. We are not Guyanese. Those are labels the white man put upon us in slavery. He said, how could we forbid them from uniting one with another. Someone says, I got an idea. Call this group Jamaicans. Make their religion so-and-so, Anglican or whatever. Make this group over here Haitian. Make them speak Creole or French. That will cause division amongst them. You gotta see the plot of what they did to the Israelites. This is who we are. This is who we be. Now, let's talk about salvation. Because we want to get out of this condition. I don't know about y'all, but I want to get out of this condition. Luke, let's go to the New Testament, the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 71. How can we be set? Wait, 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 you know what I forgot? I forgot something. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 48 with this. Listen good to this. I forgot, it just popped back in my mind. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies. Therefore, we shall serve your enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So who sent the British against us? The Lord. Who sent Spain against us? The Lord. Who sent America against us? The Lord. Who sent the Dutch against us? The Lord. Why? Because we broke the commandments. Watch me. In hunger, you gotta serve your enemies for food. And in thirst, you gotta serve your enemies for water. And in nakedness, you're gonna serve the enemies for clothing. And in wood of all things, meaning if you want anything, you're gonna serve the enemy. Now watch this. And he, your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Until you have been destroyed. Who can explain that? You will have a yoke of iron on your neck until, until you've been destroyed. You don't got no yokes of iron on. You don't got no yokes of iron. 
You have no yokes of iron on your neck, any of you. You got yokes of iron? They took it off. Why? You have no yokes of iron. Why did the white man take the yokes of iron off our necks? Based on the, the, the religion background and all these kind of teachings that are implemented into the churches now, understand so? We've been what? We have been, we're, we're still under slavery. We're still under bandage, but not labeled. So they, they broke us, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes, they broke us mentally and spiritually. Yeah. So that we will never unite as a race, we will never come together, we will have hatred one with another. This is what the Bible is saying. I'm sorry. This is what the Bible is saying. One more time the bottom, until. Until we have destroyed thee. That's why we argue over petty differences. We all, we all came on the same, same slave ship. But what divides us? You have a British accent, I may have an American accent. They call you Jamaican, they may call me Afro-American. You may be Roman Catholic, I might be, uh, give me a religion, Protestant. So now we can never unite as a people. The Bible says the only way to unite is something I am to one. Here's what the Bible says. Because you've not learned the Bible yet. You go to church all your lives and learn garbage. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. You all know you're not desired. No race likes the so-called black race. You're always on the bottom. We are always on the bottom. God says, what? Read it again. Gather yourselves together. He says, gather yourselves together. You cannot gather together and you think you're Jamaican and I think I'm Afro-American and he thinks he's Haitian. We must come together as the Israelites. That's the only way. That's the solution in Christ. Read it again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. That's the program God gave us. If you don't follow God's program, you will always remain on the bottom. You will always be divided, always filled with hatred, one for another. The nations like the Chinese and the East Indies will continue to reap your resources and you stay in poverty. Go, Luke chapter 1, verse 71. There's one Savior, the Black Messiah. And what is his solution for salvation? Listen good. Luke chapter 1, verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. What is the purpose of Jesus Christ? That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Most of you don't realize the purpose of Christ is to save you from your enemies and from everyone that hates you. A lot of you think everybody's your friend. Are you kidding me? You're in the midst of poverty and you think all races are your friend? They reap all your resources and go back to China, East India, and live luxuriously. And they give you white man Jesus and give you a come to Sunday school So Our people are insane. But we must become born again as the Israelites. We must become born again as the Israelites. Question. Yes, brother, you had a question. Come on. You asked the question a while ago what caused our, our chapters to be removed from yes. our us. So I want to to point out to you that two over there, that long uh, concrete structure that you're looking at right there. Talk loud so I can barely do it. Talk loud. That concrete structure that you're looking at right there, okay. uh, running along the ground. Okay. Underneath that two lies the shackles of slavery that was taken off our poor parents when slavery was abolished. This island. Mm, mm, mm. So they took it off and we were mentally destroyed already. Yeah. We would never rise up. We would always hate each other. Crying, I mean, we just came from Trinidad. They said 200 murders in Trinidad alone. Black men, young black men your age, murdering other black men. And not one has been solved. This is a hatred we have for one another. Hold us up. Because of this. 
Some of you don't realize the danger of teaching black children to worship a God that looks like their oppressor. I know the women don't understand it because as a youth, we got beat in America to worship this. If we did not worship this in America, our mothers beat us and they forced it on us. So we grow up with a hatred. I see brothers like you, I never respect you because you don't look like this. But when I see this, I, oh, white man, white man coming. I give all my honor to him. None to you, my flesh and blood. None to you, my brothers. None to you, my kinsmen. None to you, my sisters. Do you realize the black man, the black man is the only race who does music and calls his black woman, can, I don't know if I can say those words, bees and hoes. We're the only race that does that. Why? Because of this. We've been mentally destroyed to only respect the assistance. Ah, oh, she's no good. I sleep with her, leave her to have five babies, and go to welfare. Ah, that's what happens. We're speaking for what we know. This is not something we made up. Now, go back. Lamentations, give me Lamentations. Chapter five. How many of you, let me ask a question, black man. How do we deal with black women? Is it good for a black woman to have a baby while she's living in her father's house? How many of us had sex with black women, got her pregnant and left? Is it good? It's not good. Is it good? He said, no, no, no. Is it good? A black man to have a baby with a woman and then leave her with her parents. Yes, sir. It's not good, but people do it because of economic circumstances. Very good. It's not good, but people do it. She said it's an excuse. She, oh, oh, wait a minute. She said it's a poor excuse, man. He said justify it then now. That's what he said, justify yourself now. Come, come, come. You are a mother with two. I am a mother with two, and if the fathers would really know what women go through when they're having children. Mm. If they would only know, you see the moment a woman becomes pregnant, all kind of madness go through them head. And that's the time women need their men to stand next to them. She got a good point. Now let's see what God says. Give me Sirach 42 and 10. Let's begin with this. Sirach chapter 42 verse 10. Listen black man. In her virginity, lest she should be defiled and gotten the child in her father's house. The Bible says, the Bible says, the black woman is defiled in her virginity when she has a child in her father's house. How do you prevent that? <laughs> Ma uh, Hebrews 13 and 4. Then we want Matthew 19. Hebrews 13 and 4. We're going to help you, sister. We're going to help you. Hebrews 13 and 4. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed undefiled. But who among her? You know what a hormone is? You know what a hormone is? What is it? Tell me what a hormone is. What is it? On the man's side. On the male side. Ah, a man who has multiple sex partners. And you don't take care of them. That's a hormonger. Here in Jamaica, I don't know, can you say coxman out here? What's the word? You can say that? That's what you call it here, right? Coxman? No, they call it gallus. What? What? Gallus? Gallus. Gallus. The Bible calls it homong. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But who among us? And adulterers, God will judge. How does God judge homongers, gallus? How does God judge the men? Tell me, how does he judge us? What do we get? If we slip around too much with different women, what happens sometimes? What, 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 what? You get AIDS. Less. What, what? Syphilis, gonorrhea. Syphilis, gonorrhea. Very good. Disease. Yes. Disease. What, what, what? There you go. Let's see what God says about that. Deuteronomy 28, 61. Watch this. I'm going to show you that all you said is in the Bible. 
the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 61. Every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of the law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. I see that. Every sickness and every plague which is not written in this book, age is not written, syphilis is not written in here, gonorrhea is not written in here. The Bible says, then will the Lord bring upon you until you be destroyed. This is why some of us black men are dying. Why? Because we're not applying. Go back now. Hebrews 13 and 4. As the Israelites, we are commanded to have a woman. Marry a woman. Take care of a woman. Raise the children. That's God's law. Read it again. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable and all, and the bed undefiled. But we are among us, and adulterers, God will judge. So God will judge the black man that does not live up to his responsibilities as a man. Yes, sir. Oh, Solomon had a, how many? A thousand wives, right? Give me that, Nehemiah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, listen to this. The Bible says to can't beat a turn. Verse 9. God don't cause slackness as some men count it. But not willing and more that none should perish, but all should come to repentance. We're going to deal with that now. God has his everywhere, running to and fro the earth, beholding the evil and the good. He don't destroy the evil and leave the good, because every soul and every heaven belongs unto God. Yes. yes You're right, Mom. Now, again, we're the Israelites, the Bible speaks up. Now, he said, how does God judge you with Solomon? Give me Nehemiah 13. Let me look at it. Let's start before it. Uh, 20, start at 23. Listen good. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 23. In those days also, I saw Jews that had married wives of... Wait, wait, wait. Who remembers the color of the Jews before you read on? What color are Jews? Black. You, you're familiar with that. The Jews are black. You're the Jews. You are all the Jews the Bible speaks of. Read it again. In those days also, I saw Jews that had married wives of Ashbar and Ammon and Moab. And the children spoke half in the speech of Ashdod and could not speak in the Jews' language. So many Israelites were doing interracial marriages. Watch this. But according to the language of each people, and I contended with them, and cursed them, and smoked certain of them. So Nehemiah cursed those Israelites and smoked, meaning struck them. Go ahead. And made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their son. You know how in Jamaica some of you black men don't want the black woman? You want the East Indian woman? Or you want the Chinese woman? Or the white woman? The Bible says that's a sin. Let's read that part again. And I contended with them, and cursed them, and smoked certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, Ye shall not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourself. Now watch this, Solomon. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by doing these things? Because Solomon, like you said, he had a thousand wives, most of whom was of other nations. The Chinese woman, the Japanese woman, the East Indian woman, the Egyptian woman. Yet among many nations was there no king like him. He was loved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to sin. Those women made Solomon sin. Shall we then hearken unto you to do all this great evil? The Bible says that's a great evil. To transgress against our God. That's transgressing against our God. In marrying strange wives. In marrying strange wives. Now some of us may be guilty of that. We like these other nations. But when you become born again, you learn to look at the black woman, honor the black woman, respect the black woman. Because what? She'll start to do the same towards you. Honor you, respect you. This is what the churches are missing. 
They don't understand nothing we're talking about. Now, let's get back to marriage one more time. Matthew 19, verse 5. Matthew, you understand? So that's a sin. So I know you had a white woman in your mind. She might have been nice looking with perky breasts. Leave the white woman alone. Look at all them beautiful black sisters over there. Yeah, there you go, man. Come on. Matthew chapter 19, verse 5. And, I, and said, for this poor fellow man, the father and mother. Listen, you black men that want a wife or that want sex. Oh, you're a woman like that. You want sex? There's a stipulation for you to have sex. Read again. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife. Does it say, have sex with the woman, then go back to your parents' house? What it said? And shall cleave unto his wife. Read again, leave. And shall cleave. No, I want to leave. And for this cause. And for this cause. So a man leave father and mother. So if you want sex, you gotta do what, brother? The first thing is leave your father and your mother's house and show cleave unto his wife. You know what it means to cleave to your wife? Take her to live with you. That's what's this is what, who's speaking this? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah! Read it again. And say, for this cause shall a man be father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they twin shall be one flesh. If we only obeyed these laws, you would not have a single mother of two. If we only obeyed these laws, you would not have single parents. If we only obeyed God's laws, we would not be in the midst of poverty. We would not be incarcerated the way we are. There would not be no, what's that word for, 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 uh, for boys that like boys? What do they call fish. that? Fish. Huh? Fish. 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 Okay. Chichimans. Chichiman. There would be no Chichimans out here. Yeah. You know, it was amazing when we came here. We saw some, there was a time when I was man. But today, I see Chichiman, Chicha woman, almost everywhere. I mean, what the hell is this in New Jamaica? Same in Trinidad. Same in Ghana. We see it all over. Read it again. And, and, and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. If we obeyed the laws of God, we would have never went into slavery. But because we disobeyed God's laws, this is why we as a race went into slavery. This is why. Now you don't get to look for all books all over the place. It's in the Bible. Why we as a race went into slavery. Because we broke God's commandments. Shalom, this is I'm Elton Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.